Hi, second graders. It's Monday. It's time for a new story in our reader. It's time to learn some new vocabulary for that new story. So we always start with our high frequency words. We've talked about how important they are. We have to be able to see them, read them, understand what they mean and use them in sentences. And they're in lots of books. They might even be in some of those favorite books that you're writing about in Writer's Workshop. We'll see. So here is our list. Please repeat after me. Here we go. Caught. Finally. Today. Whatever. Believe. Then. Tomorrow. Excellent. Let's say those one more time. Let's say them together this time. Caught. Finally. Today. Whatever. Believe. Then. Tomorrow. And these words are in our story called Anansi Goes Fishing. And here's a picture. Look at this list of words. Do you see this word finally? It has that L-Y suffix on it that we've been learning about in foundations. Our base word is final and they added L-Y, finally. Can you find two words on this list that are opposites, that are antonyms? Today and tomorrow, excellent. How about one or two that could be a noun, something that is a person, place, thing, or animal. Today's a noun, it's a thing. That's a tricky one. What about a verb, an action? Can you find a verb? Maybe you said caught or believe. Let's learn more about our high frequency words. The first two we, we have are Ben and Believe. Can you say those? Ben and Believe. Now this one, it does sound like someone's name, but that is a different spelling. This is a tricky spelling. This does not say Bean, it says Ben. It's not somebody's name. This word is the past tense of be. Okay, the past tense is kind of a tricky, we've talked about things happening in the past, but we can't say be, I will be at the store on Friday, and afterwards you can't say I be at the store on Friday. No, you would say I have been at the store on Friday. So that's a tricky word, but it's talking about something that happened in the past. The next word is believe. And believe can have a couple of different meanings. It can be when you accept something as true, like you believe what is happening. You believe something that somebody is telling you. You're thinking it's true, but it can also be an opinion. You might use this word in your writing workshop when you're writing your opinions about books. You might believe a character is silly or funny. Someone else might not. Okay. Let's go on. The next word is caught and finally. Can you say those? Caught. Finally. Caught is a tricky one. That's another past tense, and this is a verb, but it's the past of catch, okay? If you caught something, you get it. Like this man, he caught a fish, okay? We might say, did he catch a fish? We can't add ed to catch. We can't say he catched a fish or catched a fish. This is a verb that the whole word changes in the past. He caught a fish. And finally means after a long time. And sometimes it means it's been a hard time or a difficult time and you just feel so relieved. Okay, you just feel so relieved it's over. Something has finally happened. 
something maybe you've been waiting for, like it's finally your birthday. It's been so hard waiting for that. The last three words are today, tomorrow, and whatever. Can you say those? Today, tomorrow, whatever. Today is the current day. It's the day that it is. So when we talk about the present, like right now, today is Monday, if you're watching this on a Monday. If not, it might be a different day. But it's the day that's current. And tomorrow is the day after today. I like this little saying over here. Today was good. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. So just another day to have good, fun times. Notice how these words are in alphabetical order. They both start with a T. Then I look at the second letter. They both have an O. And I have to go to the third letter. D comes before M in the alphabet. So today gets to go first in alphabetical order. And whatever starts with a W. So that word had to go last. Whatever was a hard word to describe. So I thought it'd be best to put him in a sentence for you. So whatever can mean something like this. Eat whatever you want. And that means there's really no limit. I could take this word out and still have a sentence. Eat what you want. But when I say eat whatever you want, that means there's no limitations. There's no restrictions. Here's another way whatever can be used. Ken said, yeah, well, whatever. And sometimes we're saying that when we really don't have an opinion, when we're kind of relaxed or we don't really care what's happening. Sometimes people might say it when they're a little upset and they might say it in a different tone. Ken said, yeah, well, whatever. Might be a little angry. Okay, but that means you really aren't really having a response to it. Those, that's a tricky one. But look, there's two words inside of whatever. What and ever. Don't put a space in between there, though. So let's go through our words one more time. Let's say them together. Caught. Finally. Today. Whatever. Believe, then, and tomorrow. Look for these words as you're reading the story. A Nazi goes fishing this week. Thanks for listening. Have a great rest of your day.